my dad is a pharmacist, and so I went down the pathway to become a pharmacist. And when I was in pharmacy school, I actually did a very small research project with um, this graduate student and a professor. And I saw the graduate student teaching, I saw that graduate student doing research, and I just said, I want to be like her. I want to do what she's doing. Most of my work is in medication adherence. There are a group of drugs called aromatase inhibitors, and those are medications that women take when um, they finish their breast cancer treatment. Over time, the percentage of women who keep taking those medications declines. A woman is balancing that decision to keep taking the medication with a fear of breast cancer recurrence. And we're trying to understand where that fear of recurrence really changes in terms of their willingness to accept all the side effects. We can't necessarily reduce the amount of side effect from the aromatase inhibitors, but what we can do is help women have strategies to manage those side effects and or reframe how they affect their lives. And then the third thing that I'm working, beginning to work on is to uh, work in one of the QIOs, which is one of the quality improvement organizations that we have across the state of Michigan. We're working with frontline providers to develop strategies that will improve their practices. It's just this great opportunity to affect change in a quicker way and, um, and to see it. I was talking to a potential postdoc applicant a couple weeks ago and I was describing IHPI. And I said that it is an organization that brings together researchers and clinicians and those interested in health services research and health policy. It's a way to bring people together from across the campus that I suspect would not have come together except for this organization. I never would have thought even 10 years ago that I would tell you I would be doing research with engineers. And I am, and it's terrific. And we're doing things that I never knew I would be able to work on. So it's really exciting. I think there's a lot of opportunity for us to evaluate the health reform that we're experiencing now with uh, the Affordable Care Act. There's also an important role for us to think about how can the work that I do in medication adherence be incorporated into primary care practice, for example? How can it be incorporated into the cancer center right here at the University of Michigan? And I think sometimes we as researchers don't always use our health system as our laboratory, but I think that's a real opportunity in the foreseeable future.